What's up, everybody? Welcome to the YouTube channel, Comic Cover. I'm your host, Lord Hiram. Today, I'm doing a review on the Absolute Carnage 4. This is the Young Guns variant cover, and the art is done by Mike Del Mundo. I couldn't get, I honestly couldn't wait to get this in my hand. This is probably one of my favorite things that's dropped today. I did pick up a couple books, um, but I must say, this is definitely up there. I would say this is like my favorite cover of, of you know, of today, which is kind of hard, you know, because uh, X-Men dropped a lot of heat today. But I just love the simplicity of this and how crazy this is. So without any further ado, uh, before I even get into this review, make sure that you switch your settings to 1080p. That way you can get uh, the highest resolution out of this review. So... As you can see right here, it says Spider-Man anti-symbiote suit. Um, one of the cool things I like is these little webs in the corner. All four corners. Obviously, you see his name right there, Mike Del Mundo. Um, everything held together by webbing. So let's get into it. So right off the bat. One of the things that I love is this side A, side B. I mean, automatically, I think of cassettes. So you have Sonic Boom Sound Blaster. So that's this right here. You have various knives on the side. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. It says Katana. Uh, I'm not, uh, you know, honestly, I'm not sure what that is. You have the blaster, the chainsaw web bag of sharp objects and explosives okay and then <laughs> my favorite right here the, the headband web band gang gang i mean <laughs> yo this is crazy and then you have this bomb right here when when all else falls so then you got side b you got the gun Poly 6 Blaster, and then you have Katana again. Bro, the coloring on this is so crazy because it's dull. It's not anything that pops. I mean, as you can see right here, like, you can see how, like, his neck kind of fades right here. You know, the ink that he chose on this is sick because it's almost like if he drew this with a marker like if he colored like if he drew it and colored it in with a marker i mean just look at these lines um insane bro insane man i mean like i said when i saw this i already knew that uh this was a must I like how he used like the different colors. So poly and green, six, red, and then blaster is a purple color. That's freaking fly. Um, listen, man, by the tone of my voice, you already know what I'm gonna give this, all right? So on a scale of one to five, five being the best, I'm giving this a five. I mean, everything on this is so on point. Uh, the way that he drew this, um, I mean, there's nothing that I could say that's bad about this. Um, <laughs> this is honestly, man, like this is like my favorite cover of this week. And that's why it was like very important for me to get this in my hand for today. Because uh, I was talking to my homie Huang. I said, I'm like, yo, I definitely got to get this shit because I want to review this. Um I think another thing I like about this is just kind of, you know, like the shadowing. So you see how it goes from red to black. But if you look real closely, you can still see like the lining of the boots. And then you see up here. I mean, he chose some real dark colors, man. But everything, you know, it meshes so well, bro. Like it's... It's insane. Yeah, man. 
this is definitely one of my favorites. I hope man, that you enjoyed this. Please leave your comment in the bottom and let me know if you have this, if you picked this up today. And if so, what did you like it? Uh, what did you like about the cover? Um, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Um, I don't have anything else to say. Till next time, peace out.